Hey, stellar space travelers. Today we got the Eklund Tempest build video for you. Let's dive right in. And as always, if you like what you see, leave a like. If you would like to see more, subscribe for more. But I do like to build at my base anyways. You seem to get more variety, maybe not in the Habs. But the best way I know to build this for you is just by deleting it and rebuilding it so you can see everything that goes into it. By the end of the day, it is a pretty expensive ship. But we're going to start out with our Habs, our one by one. That's going to be your main ladder for your whole ship. We'll throw an armory up. You gotta have your armory as you leave your ship. Slip that in there. And then these one buys are gonna be your, for your Habs, or not your Habs, but your Dockers and your Bays. Let's throw those in right now. I do like to walk onto my ship. I don't like to climb too many ladders. Throw the Docker on the other side. Nice. And that's pretty much all the halves we have for the first floor. Now we throw our gear on. I just use the Stroud. Seems to blend better with the build. I know there are better options out there. Throw these around just as so. It does stress you on the gear on this one, so you do gotta Throw a few more on there, but that's later in the build. Right, so now, after we did that, there are a couple things that go right in the middle, right by the gear, but we're gonna throw some of the structure pieces on right now. Get those side cap, Stroud Eklund's. I like the way those look. I've seen some real nice, real nice builds with this. All right, that's about coming together for our first floor. So again, there are one by that will be our main up throughout the whole ship. Then we're gonna go out. And those can be your engineer bays and your living quarters. Not gonna add all that and waste your time, but you can decorate them any way you want. And then those pieces will come in handy later. Those four you can interchange for cargo when needed. I say that is because most people could put it on their ship now, but you're not holding 10,000 pounds of stuff yet, so you might as well wait till you have that much to need the cargo for. So these little one bys here will be your ladders that go into the one by three habs for living quarters. We'll use the, the Stroud all-in-ones. Put those on the wings. And there'll only be a ladder right there and there to go to those. Then we're going to throw a couple of the nose caps on. I can find it. There it is. Put those on the wings. They look nice when they're going through. Then we put the, the lights on. See this next part. The reason I put the lights on first is because uh, the next part is uh, you have to know how to do that blending with the pieces. And that's pretty much we're going to do that with some more gear. These two pieces of gear right here. So once you make it established, you put it in place. I find it, you flop it, release it, and it's good to go. So you'll clone it, establish that piece. Now that piece is on the screen. Put it on there, flip flop release done at least that works for me i don't know if everyone else has a better technique i know there's occasionally you can snap it up but i have a 
Different ship I use a lot of that on, I'll show you later. And that's it for the gear on the sides. And that will hold all that extra cargo when you need it. So you don't have to mess around with it later. Uh, looking at the back of our ship, we got to put our structural, what is it, uh, backs, hoops, the bellies, put those on just for make the ship look nice. And then we can add our engines. Now with the engines, you have to go to Stroud Eklund. I found that he had the engines at his starport. So I had to buy those and then bring them back over here and build. But if you guys know where to get those engines elsewhere, please leave in the comments, please. Thank you. We'll throw the engines on the back. Coming along, there's one more engine to put on, but we can't put it on quite yet. that and that's just for looks that's all you don't need to put it and up in front we're gonna put on our other nose piece throw the cargo pieces in first Those will be the hidden ones you can just leave up there. And there again, another one of your one buys that will lead the whole ship. And then here, it can be your workshop, your science, your infirmary, whatever you want right there. And then in those slots that we're making right there in the front, those will just be for your, your gun attachments, your weapon attachments. Let's add those right now, actually. Eklund. I believe they are... Well, let me throw these on there first. See, these are right here. These are a little side swoop for the wings. And that will be the end of the wing there. Just in case those... What the? Uh, I hate this. What? Something. Something ain't right here. What am I doing? Oh, I'm flip flopped. Put that back. Go. Flip the bottom one back. Okay, back on track. We have our nose job piece. Yep, our wings, nose pieces. Double those up right away. Flip flop, drop them. Nice. Now we're coming along. We'll add one more mid brace. You could use the Davos mid braces, depend what you like. And we'll add that engine stop. Let me grab it from right there. All right. Oh, yeah. And then you add another one of these. Now that's going to be a ladder all the way up and down your ship. Four floors of continuous ladder. No other junction point on your ship. Easy to navigate. Well, we got these crevices here, and that's for the grab drive. So let's re-grab that thing. I do like my deep core. I know there are better options out there, but I think that looks nice. Same with the reactor. Let's throw that thing in there. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, what happened? Oh, I hate when it does that. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
eventually. Yep, and then we'll throw that on top. We'll go grab some structure pieces to make those little curved jobs in the back of the cockpit there. So we'll hold our engine covers for the back that we'll slap on right now. Flip-flop, and getting there. I like the way that looks in the back. Now we can add our last engine, the one we bought from Stroud Eklund. Slap that bad boy on there. Bam, 94 mobility. doesn't stay that high and you could hide that and blend that in but it looks pretty well up there to shield so I left it out now let's get down to business gotta put the horizontal weapon mounts on there oh I forgot to put the yep forgot to put the last gear on there you gotta use the Deimos one because it has the four. And when you're all, when you have all your gear on there at roughly about 10,000 pounds of cargo, you needed that one. Okay, back to business. These side mounts, we'll add these side mounts. I can click it. All right. Let's get our weaponry. Everybody has their idea of what the best weapons are, so you could fill it with whatever you choose. I like the disruptor. I always like the autos. They seem to shoot more. Maybe they don't hit as hard, but definitely more variety of shots coming out. Something don't look right here. What the heck is wrong? That one clicked. Something ain't clicked right. That one's right. Oh, this guy here. Oh, there we go. Always something. All right, we add these. These don't got the same amount of range, but they dang near DPS for the same amount. Once in range. Then we need to add our back turrets and our back turret supports, which I seem to have forgot to put on. Okay. Okay, well, as I said, I forgot to put the supports on. Let me throw those on first. Here we'll use the Nova Galactic wings, wherever the heck those things are at. Those will be covers for your reactor and your grav drive. Looks sharp. Let's give those a little flipper flap. Bam. Nice engine protection. Good to go. Now we can throw our back turrets on here. I throw them in reverse because when you're all cargoed out, she's got a fat ass. She don't turn that well. So you're going to want that extra shot coming in the back, help you out, eliminate any of those little pirate buggers behind you. Oh yeah. Right. Coming together. Add the last the gas tank. We got to do a little blend, a little blend thing. We'll put those right next to the day most. Flip, flop, release. Good to go. Clone it. 
establish it. Grab it again. Put it where you need it. Flip, flop, release. Oop. Flip, flop, release, and bam. Now I'm down to one warning, and that is just the weapon assignments. Should give it a paint job real quick. Yep. Let me add the windows first. Need that front window. Best view in the house. Side windows look nice when you're flying through space and you get up and actually go look at it. It's pretty neat. I had some underneath, but you're getting pretty close to the build limit. You could probably add another few things, but I think that's about it. color it up now. We'll give it its initial dark color. Leave the white on color too. Make this one blue. Why does that look purple to me? Now that looks teal, whatever. Good enough. And then we're going to highlight the top hab with the two mid braces and the front nose piece. And then same on the second deck, the hab and the nose piece. We're gonna paint those all black, or at least whatever darker color you prefer. I'm gonna grab the cot pick and we're gonna change the blue and the white around. Bloop, and a little flap. I think they should give you more color variety or at least better selection or easier to select. The menu is kind of honky dory. There you have it. There is the Eklund Tempest. Oh, we still got the one warning. Let's see. Just change the weapon assignments and you're good to go. Remember those four spots on the bottom, you just change those mid braces out for cargo hold and you're just under 10,000 cargo on this ship. But do it accordingly. Alright, let's do a little flip and roll. I'm gonna get too close to that battle cruiser. Tear that guy up, no problem. Stay out of the firing range of the battle cruiser. You mother sticker. Get over here. <laughs> Guns up. Circling each other. Come on, man. There you are. Get some easy pickings. Now let's go fight that battleship. Ooh, there's a big boy right there. No problem for us. Do you run out of rounds to shoot? Yep. <clears throat> Do a little dip and dive. Okay, let me just boost around. Yeah, I'm gonna let my back turret to do some of that work. Easy peasy, and I should finish her off. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. That was pretty neat. And that is the Eklund Tempest. If you like what you see, leave a like. If you like to see more, subscribe. And I do also have these ships. If you like to see a build video, leave a comment down below. This is the Nova Pincher. 
and this is the Deimos Stealth. Very nice one. They blended a lot together in this one. And thanks everyone for watching and have a stellar night.